In this video, we're going to splice a reeving eye into the end of a new halyard. So this is a low strength eye, which allows you the halyard to easily be attached to a feed line. The first thing we do is tie a knot a little ways away from the end of our line so that whatever we do to the cover and the core will not affect the alignment of the rest of our halyard. A simple slip knot works just fine. Then we remove the cover from the core and cut about 30 to 50 times the rope's diameter of core out of the rope. Now we grab our knot and melt the cover back over the core. We are left with a little bit of just cover at the end of our rope. We fold over the cover so that the end of the cover lines up with the point in the rope where the core starts. We then make a mark where we want the loop to start. Then we grab our FID and insert it at this mark. We then feed our FID through the rope until it hits the core. We bunch up the cover just a little bit so there's a little bit of overlap between the cover and the core. This will ensure that there's no empty space when our splice is finished. We force our FID through and then we place the end of the cover into the FID. A tight layer of tape can make this much easier. We pop the cover out, remove our tape, and then we size our loop. As we tighten the core, the cover will pop right back into the rope. And then we're just going to stitch it all closed. Now the key here is to stitch it both the, uh, the reeving splice as well as the core and cover together leading up to the reeving splice. And that way, at no point will the rope ever work itself to a point where there is a gap in between the two of just cover. A reeving eye like this adds a little bit more professionalism to all of your halyards and makes feeding in new lines much, much easier. For the most professional look, use a whipping twine color that matches the color of the rope. If you guys have enjoyed this video, get subscribed to The Splicing Guru for easy access to these videos when you need them most. If there's a splice or a knot that you don't understand how to do or you're looking to learn more about and I can't find it on my channel, leave it down below and I will get up a new video as soon as I can. Most of all, thanks for watching.